Hello there, gorgeous people, and welcome to the final show, final live show, that is, of 2016 here at PTV Australia. We are live, we are certainly interactive from this very moment, and definitely for six hours pretty much straight as we start the expo show, kick off tonight with the expo show from 10 p.m., of course, until 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, then at 1.08 exactly, we go into our 7-2 show. This is destined to be a huge one because of the New Year's resolutions and all of those kind of things. So please get your messages through to us, your voicemails, your texts, and your picture messages. My name is Mal. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We love you all so very much. Welcome to our New Year final show, final live show. This is the number to send through your picture messages, 0437 646 958, 0437 646 958. Now we're starting a little low right now. I've got a few left over from last night and just a couple that have been sent through tonight. This is your text number. Thank you. We've got zero text messages. Are you kidding? Okay, this is going to be a great way for you to get a reading done if you sent through a text right now. Um, so send through your name, your date of birth, and your question to one triple nine zero nine zero nine. Don't forget, you must be over 18 to connect with uh, PTV Australia. Not every single message can get read here at PTV Australia. We do our very best, though. But when you do hear me say things like, uh, we have zero text in the system or zero voicemails, that's a key, key sign that you've got a high chance of getting your reading done. Right now, voicemail will be the fastest way to get it done. Now, guys, let's go around the studio. Live in the studio, we have Rhonda to start off with. Hello, gorgeous Rhonda. Option number one, Rhonda is a psychic medium. She's a healer. She's an intuitive artist, and she's so brilliant. She's um, here for a celebratory New Year's show. Lovely to have her here. Option number one, she loves to tune in, <laughs> tune in for you. And okay, still psychics available in the studio. Rhonda is available. Hello, gorgeous. Gosh, she's amazing. I love her. She's so cute. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like to... I'm hesitant to say cute because... But she, she is... Yeah, um, she's cute as a button. Psychic medium. She's a healer. She's a, a, an in, a intuitive artist and she's brilliant. She's absolutely lovely to have in the studio as well. I love all these psychics. They really do make my job a pleasure. Even at this time of night. I still love coming to work at this time of night. You know, I'd rather do this than um, work behind... An <laughs> than work... No, well... Uh, then work behind, uh, you know, uh, for me, certainly, it's at night, the nine to five, it's the, it's the, the regime. Um, not that there's anything wrong with you. I've done it. I've done that too. But for me personally, I'd rather lose my sleep and be up at this time of night. It works better. Now, I had a friend that um, nicknamed, kept calling me Millie, Millie and, and uh, nicknamed me Millie. And I realized he actually thought that was my name and it got stuck and he couldn't go back and actually say, I didn't know your name was Mel. I thought it was Millie, and it just uh, kept it just stuck. Hello, Rhonda. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Millie. How are you? I might call you Millie. <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> Millie, but he was the only one I went like. Yeah. And then I get silly. squeaked. I'm like, you. you That's a bit of a joke. You, you just yeah. got it wrong from the start, yeah, and then you can't yeah. go back. That's you know it. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm Hello. so nice see seeing you. you. How Thank are you? you? Good. How are you? Really, really happy to That's be by good. your side. You oh, bring such you. beautiful, um, loving, sweet energy in here but you are very very tell us about yourself because you um you, you hugely professional in in your outside yeah. world as well as doing this how do you balance yeah. the two tell us about uh, they, they both help i mean uh, it helps at work to be intuitive obviously um and this side sort of things is kind of a nice balance as well it's not the logical brain it's so the extremely intuitive brain. logical at work yeah that's like, right so you're yeah. one of you're one of a, a, a very small few that do, do yeah. balance. Maybe maybe there's two or three of you that yeah. did that do that complete logical focused yeah, job yeah. Um, in your greater life, mm. and then you come here and you're complete. Oh, you, you're so in the spiritual yeah. world. I just find that really amazing that you manage to do both. Yeah, it's it's really a nice compliment. I mean, I've always trusted my oh, haven't always trusted my intuition, but I certainly do now, and it really helps with other aspects yeah. of my life like work. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm for sure. You do it so very well. Oh, thank you. You certainly <laughs> do this well, um, and it's really nice to have you on board. Um, now, what are some of your gifts that you can impart with the viewers on yeah. this, the eve, or pretty much the eve of 2017? That's right. So I'm a psychic medium, so the mediumship side, it's connecting with the other side. So I can do that with um, with humans, with animals, <laughs> um, any sort of animals. I tend to pick up the weird animals as well, like the lizards and, and oh, the odd oh, pets that people it. have. Um, I'm also a medical intuitive, so I'll empathically feel how someone died as proof, validation of proof of life. 
uh, with the psychic side of things, that can be past, present, and future. It can be a general reading. It could be a specific reason, reading, focusing on any area of your life. It could be love, work. Um, I can also interpret dreams, uh, help with sleep problems. So I'm really a bit of a Jill of all trades and that sort of thing. I'll pick up um, intuitively by reading the energy what I need. She's pretty amazing at her readings and, and she gets the information pretty directly as well. So you'll see that shortly. Charlene's available, logged in and ready to go in option number one. Do call her. Hasn't been in the studio for a full month's time. Take full advantage of the wisdom and amazing readings that she does. Um, now, Renee has actually uh, just written a comment on Facebook under our live video. We are live on Facebook. You can watch it. We will be broadcasting every show directly live from Facebook now. Uh, to Renee, she's just written, Hi, Mal. I thought PTV was on later at night. I'm confused. Why is it on so early? You must this now because of live. Thank you guys for the UK. Now because of live, Renee's been able to see Facebook, uh, to see Facebook, and to see that we're on right now at this yeah. time of night. Uh, we're doing Expo and Seven Two at this point in time. This may not happen forever. Well, it's not going to happen forever. So at the moment, we are just started um, Facebook Live. Renee, enjoy it if that's the way you're watching. But you can also watch directly from our live stream on our own website and on Expo Channel's website. Uh, we're on the telly as well. Numerous ways. We are absolutely everywhere. Okay, picture for you sure. and Rhonda. This is actually she just got a text. So we'll save that. We won't save that for the next show. This is Brian. Hello, Brian. 17th of the 1st, 1967. Come on, Aussies. <laughs> Hi, Brian. That's something I've never said and actually meant, I must say. I'm being a non-sporting person myself, oh, right. but lovely okay. to see that patriotism. Okay. He would like a general reading, please. Oh. Hi, Brian. Okay, with you, I'm picking up, straight away, I'm picking up tiredness. Uh, there's a bit of a, a health issue there affecting your energy levels. It's kind of waxing and waning. Uh, it, it feels like you're already sort of getting that um, sorted out, but if, if by off chance you're not, then um, get a medical checkup, blood test, all that sort of thing. Um, feels like you're very bubbly, very sociable. You're, you're a lot of fun to be around. Um, you've, you've sort of got um, male and female friends, and they really uh, pick up on your energy. You can also be quite shy as well, Brian. You can, um, you know, people that don't know you won't perhaps go up to you because they don't know how to read you, but but you are a very warm and um, bubbly and friendly friend. You're, you're a good person to be around. You're, you're someone that will lift up a person's spirits. Um, but that can also mean that um, you can take on other people's, um, other people's negativity and you're, you're a bit sensitive as well, Brian, in that um, you could go away from an interaction with someone and feel quite drained and, and, and feel like that. So you've got to just sort of learn a bit to roll with the punches. Um, as for a general reading, um, sort of next year, it feels like finances are fine. It feels like you know, slow and steady ring, win the race. You're, you're sort of getting there. You're, um, you're, you're leading towards a big purchase. Um, I don't, I don't, I I'm picking up boat, like something around water. So it's either purchasing a boat or going on a holiday. Um, that's what I'm picking up with you. Um, and I think that'll be good. I think that's um, also, it'll be a good thing to do on your own, as in meeting people on your own. Um, I know you like to be around friends, but don't be afraid to sort of step outside your comfort zone and, and do that. But de some, definitely is some sort of water connection with you, Brian. Um, so the finances seem fine. I can't see any sort of, um, you know, moves or anything. Um, like I, I, in terms of your energy, I, it feels very stable. It feels like you're, you've got, you're sort of where you are, you want to be in life. Um, yeah, the main thing I'm picking up for you, Brian, is just feel free to step out of your comfort zone. Um, and that's also with going to places on your own and going, you know, um, meeting a different group of friends and that sort of thing. Um, or sort of, you know, from a group of friends, if you've got one sort of outside group of friends and you get invited, don't be afraid to go because you'll, once you're there, you'll have a great time. You're, you're able to talk. You, you, you're quite sociable and um, personable. So um, don't be afraid to sort of step out of your comfort zone. That's, that's the main message I got for you, Brian. Thanks for that. Now, I'm sorry, I was just um, going, right behind you, you yeah. may have seen Florence just going, what, uh, Florence, what the, uh, she's, she's been something. invaded by some friends over there. <laughs> hey, Florence, Florence, we can hear you, your microphone is up. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I thought there's I was seeing Oh, wow. Oh. There's a cat oh. in the studio. Oh, wow. A cat is in I the studio. I didn't know it. Wow. <laughs> hello. Oh, she's beautiful I thought I was seeing She's a beautiful cat too, oh. really pretty.
I wasn't that's expecting it. that, guys, but that's... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hello. Aren't you beautiful? What is happening? Wow. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I went straight for Florence. Whose <laughs> cat is this? Off, but no idea. We shared a little table. We had to call someone. It might be a tag. <laughs> no, just the middle bell. Maybe you'd like to catch birds. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but this this is only going to happen oh, on our show. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the. Whose cat is this? Does someone know? <laughs> I don't know. Gosh, she likes your oh pen. My God. This is why yeah. my heart's beating so much. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> this cat. Do we know whose it is? Do we know whose it is, Mark? I can't leave a cat. No, I maybe call security. Um, sorry, guys. We'll get back to yeah. you. <laughs> Um, well, okay, right. Did we just do another just reading? Comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Let's um. What got, the heck got, is, got what some the help heck is here. Happening? All right. Got this, some this, help here. This is Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Hi, Rachel. A for the six seventy five. We'll work out what to do with the cat shortly. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, Happy New Year. What do you do? You see me pregnant in two thousand and seventeen. Anything you see? Awesome show. Hi, Rachel. I do actually see you pregnant next or next year. That's right. I was going to say this year, but I do say it next year. Um. It doesn't feel like sort of like an idea, but it feels like you've had, um, you've had sort of false positives, like you've had, um, it feels like it's, you've sort of been there, but you haven't, you've been there, but you haven't, like it feels like you've, it's not a remote possibility, it's, it's in, you've, you've sort of, things have happened along the way, and um, like, it's, like in terms of children, they've definitely been your energy for, for, I'd say three to four, the past three to four years now. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I can actually see three you having three children, um, as, and you've got a child around you, like you've got a sort of um, late primary school age child around you, whether that's niece or nephew. You've got someone around you, but I can see, yeah, I can definitely see you having children. I can see you being pregnant next year. It actually feels like though you're um, you won't have the child next year. It'll be um, pregnancy later this year for for next year, um, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, it, it looks, you look healthy, you know, I feel, I don't feel any, um, <laughs> this is nuts, it's okay, she's helping, I know you're helping, yeah, so sorry Rachel, <laughs> I get distracted, get distracted, um, I just haven't had a pet cat in years and years, I'm sweating, my last pet was sorry, a beagle, sorry, we're trying to do a live TV show and we have a cat no, that's so turned up in the studio, um, in, so I was getting back to yeah. your um, your general health, Rachel. It feels like you are healthy. It feels like um, there's nothing. It, it feels like there's there's been things along the way, and I'm, I'm talking like sort of like past ten years. But you've sort of you've you've taken the steps. You're quite a um, conscientious person. You're quite a practical person. And you've you've worked on those things along the way. So you've you've got yourself in the best position to be to be starting a family. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just. <laughs> yeah, so I hope that answers your question, Rachel, and I'm really excited for you. It's exciting Hi. times. Lots of celebrations coming up in the next wow. few years. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, guys. Clearly, there's something magical going on in the studio here. We don't want to really know what to do. I'm, I, well, she, she's happy. She's happy, yeah. Um, but I just don't want her to, li to get, well, somebody belongs to this cat. Yeah. All right, we have a cat live in the studio. This That's would only ever happen on our show. I cannot believe this. Um, welcome to Psychic TV. Uh, get your readings in through to us. Uh, there's a cat. That, oh, le they left quite a bit of fur on the desk as well. Only ever at PTV Australia. Send through your pictures um, and your <laughs> voicemail. The cat is now off into the control room. Um, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Um, two psychics available in studio. I thought when Florence said, um, I thought, no, that's not a cockroach. I thought I saw a tail and I thought, no, that's a blue tongue lizard. Uh, Charlene just got a call. Florence is available. Uh, Florence, wow. <laughs> what the heck? It's, it's totally amazing. Like, I got so blown away that I got the shakes and with good stuff and um, sweats. Just so amazing. Now, are we going to do a voice now, did you say? No, another picture. Okay. Uh, did you say yes? Picture. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, this is Therese. Hello, Teresa. 6th of the 1st, 1957, lovely male. Okay, uh, now, can, you, can I have a
have a birthday reading and what do you see if I open a business? Love to all. Hi, Therese. Thanks for connecting. Or Therese Ann, I should say. Um, yeah, so your birthday is next Friday. I think that's the 6th. I can actually see, um, I can see a business. I can see you being quite creative in what you do. Um, it, it feels like you're sort of a bit hesitant in that you're changing your mind. You've got, um, you've got a few different options open to you. Um, and it also feels like your head and your heart are telling you different things. Um, and it also feels like that you've got people in your ear um, giving you their worldly advice and their business advice. Um, that's, that's probably the main thing I'm picking up on is that um, in terms of um, what people tell you, everyone's an expert. Everyone will, will give you their worldly opinion. Um, just, just be more selective about who you're listening to. That's, that's the biggest sort of risk factor that I'm picking up is that you... Um, the, most, the most important thing is you need to trust your own instincts. You, you need to go with what feels right. Um, and it, it really feels like there's some, it feels like a male that's, that's in your ear telling you um, something that you don't believe with your heart, that you, you feel is the wrong thing to do. So um, it, it feels like this, this business idea has been, you've been planning it for quite some time. Um, it just, it just be selective about who you're listening to. Um, I can also see you um, being a list writer, like writing sort of lists, like doing, um, almost doing like one of those little charts where you've got pictures stuck of <laughs> where you are now, where you, where you want to be. You sort of, I can see you being creative and doing it sort of that way. Um, what I'm being told is to look back at the one you did when you first thought of your business. Think back to what you wanted and again, listen to your own voice, trust your own instincts. Um, just, as in, just make sure you're headed on, on the path that you want to be headed on because it feels like if you don't it will cost you more time and money to get back on that path because you are you are meant to do do it a certain way and you are meant to do it your way um, but if you listen to other people then you won't do that at first and then you'll have to get back and then um, you also feel a bit of frustration and and a bit of sort of resentment as well and um, it's you it's really just got to trust yourself um, I'm also getting this quite a lot actually I'm, I'm also picking up on your energy levels your 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 some that um, your the amount of sleep you have changes and the amount of energy you have changes and sometimes it doesn't match as in sometimes you don't get much sleep but you have a lot of energy um, it's got to find a bit of a balance there um, uh, crystals I can see you having crystals that, that, that help you and and it feels like you've got that um, creative energy and it feels like you've got that um, connection to energy you're you're quite intuitive yourself so you would um, you already know what you need to do to ground yourself and to sort of um, block people out and lift your own energy so you, you already know what's good for you and you know to trust your intuition um, just a matter of doing it but happy birthday for next week Thanks, Happy Therese birthday, Anne. Therese, uh, Therese Ann. Nice to see you. Okay, we have plenty of voicemails coming in. Thank you so much for leaving those. We absolutely love them. You guys are awesome, as awesome as that cat. Now, I'm rarely ever amazed, as you, uh, most of you know. I, my jaw hardly ever, ever, ever drops the, uh, to the floor, ever. Like maybe in the last five years, maybe twice, literally. I'm not I'm joking. That was an amazing yeah, move with that absolutely. cat. Yeah, um, absolutely. I would like to mine that cat yes, forever. Yes, okay. beautiful. Absolutely we have beautiful. a vo voicemail coming through. It's John. Uh, John from Vic here. 16th of the 8th, 44. Reading, please, for the new year. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you. Hi, John. Thanks for happy calling. Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year. Um, it feels, for me, you're a um, country person. You like peace and quiet. You like um, just having your own space, your own house. I can see, actually see you sitting out on a veranda. You're, you're also a people watcher, John. Um, that's what I can pick for you. Um, you. I couldn't imagine you living in a big city or not having an outdoor space, not, not being able to, you know, go to... I can also see you going to water and ha going for walks and having that sort of outdoor connection. If you had sort of four walls and an apartment, uh, that would kill you. You, wouldn't, you just couldn't cope. Um, so that's, that's good. You do what, you, what you're doing. Um, there's, there's a woman in the, sort of, I'm getting like late 30s, 40s that's um, causing you a bit of trou trouble, John. Um, it feels like she's um, a bit manipulative, a bit um, 
sort of like one day we'll phone you and say things are going well. It, it feels like a daughter, feel, it doesn't feel like your daughter, but it feels like a daughter type um, relationship. Like you've got that sort of, um, you look at her as a, uh, as a caring, like you've got a sort of a caring, protective way of looking at her. Um, it, just, it just feels like she's um, not, her emotions are all over the place. She's going through, um, feels like she's going through a relationship breakup. She's going through a lot. Um, and things aren't um, things aren't that kosher with her there, um, and, and it feels like you um, you need to just really help set healthy boundaries with with her, as in um, you know tell her what time she can call. <laughs> Don't let her call in early in the morning or late at night if you're in bed. Just it just feels like um, it, she's someone that will call uh, call offload her problems to you. She'll feel better, but you feel worse kind of thing. So um, just. Um, you know what to do, um, but just it just feels like you're going to have it, have to have those sorts of conversations with the next few. Um, I can't see sort of a move or anything. I think there's um, and sort of an op opportunity to move in two or three years, um, but the, this this coming year I can't see you sort of moving. Um, feels like you need to sort of declutter as well. Again, that emotional, um, that sort of emotional clearing, um, not just setting boundaries with with other people, but um, with yourself, it feels like you've got, um, it just feels like you've got stuff in a particular area that's annoying you, like you've been meaning to get around to it now, and you'll feel a lot better when you do, when you go through it and sort it out and clean it out. That, it feels like that's that's something that's um, in your energy. Um, so for you, it's all about um, your energy balance with yourself, your, your own environment, and with people around you. Thanks for that, John. Thank you, Rachel, um, uh, for sending. So, thank you, John, for sending that through uh, the voicemail. We absolutely love that uh, you guys for it and for connecting with us. Lots of people are uh, writing, of course, on Facebook about the cat. Um, apparently, security is coming to take the yeah. cat out. I would, I, I would rather beautiful. the cat stay in here. For, I, I would, and we'll find it. It's clearly got a beautiful home somewhere. I don't want it to go. There's a main, there's a main road just out there. I don't want that cat to go out and get hit by. Who wants to keep? Yeah, can we take care of it? I don't want security to put it out on the. No, no, no. Might be probably um, microchipped. As long as we keep doing our jobs, the cat can stay. That's what I reckon. <laughs> uh, fourth of the ninth, 1963. Sandra, the last decade. Oh my yeah. goodness gracious, Sandra. I'm so sorry. Has been challenging. What do you see for me in 2017? Happy New Year. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for connecting. Yeah, I do, with you, I do feel very heavy-hearted, very, um, just really emotionally drained, heavy-hearted. Um, it, it feels like um, changes in relationship with you, but it feels also like a, a loss, a grief, um, and also financial um, issues associated with that. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I, I feel for you, I can feel um, your anguish about that. Um, you do feel like an intelligent woman, Sandra. You do feel like you're um, someone who, although it has been through a crap time, it is going to be better for that life experience. And it feels like, you know, in a year's time, you'll be in a different place. In a couple of years' time, you'll be in an even better place. So it feels like things are picking up from now on. Um, with, with what's happened, though, you, um, don't look at it with sort of any bitterness or um, hostility. Oh, Hostility, particularly the relationship sort of breakdown. Don't um, again. There's there's a difference in intelligence there. You're you're um, you know you're someone who'll be better for their life experience. Not and you're not going to play immature games and that sort of thing. So um, you know just remember that you're the better person. Move onward and upward. Um, it, it just uh, yeah, it feels like you've got a um, just sort of um, I mean you've you've already been rolling the punches, but um, maybe just change the way you um, react to things. So if anyone wants to sort of drag you down or, um, you know, someone sort of says something that seems like they're trying to upset you or trying to remind you of things, they're not, that's not their intention. It's just they might have said something in passing, but it feels like you're a bit um, reactive. You're a bit hypersensitive to certain things at the moment. So um, just sort of before you speak, just sort of think, just sort of, you know, how are you going? Nice to see you again, and just move on. And then you know you'll you'll sort of get in a pattern of not doing that, not reacting, and not um, not doing that. Um, and then you know after a while, it's just it's just going to become easier, and it's just you you'll be a happier person because you're not um, reacting to that. You're not feeding that sort of negativity. You're you're keeping yourself positive. Um, in terms of sort of friendships and relationships, it feels like things are stable now, things are more stable than have been for a while, as in 
um, the support network around you, that's fairly constant and it's fairly stable and it's, it's actually nice because right now it's about you, it's about your own, um, your own learning. It, it, and also it feels like you're sort of going to do a bit of study, sort of a work-related study, something that has said, someone has said something to you at work or made a comment, you're thinking about studying and that's, that's not a bad idea as well. Um, I can see that sort of l in the later part of next year. Um, I just, yeah, it, and it feels like you're better now at speaking your mind. You've, you've, that's one of the lessons you've learnt. You can always look back at the sort of the things you've learnt from past friendships, past relationships, and it's that's um, that's one thing that you've picked up on is to speak your mind better. But um, I wish you all the best, and the onward and upward things are getting better, Sandra. Yeah, it, it has to get better. It absolutely yeah. has to. Never ever give up. And you know what? Considering how long you've had a hard time. You haven't given up until now. That's right, exactly, well. exactly. Um, thank you, Rhonda, thank you. so very much. I'm Thanks so sorry that. I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I was just, okay. and for all the cat hair, and oh, uh, that's right, sorry, I'll Steve to get as well, all this nervous energy with the yeah. cat and everything, and anyway, <laughs> no, no, uh, that's fine. we've just got a cat in the studio, anyway, you're going to go into booth number two. Sure, thank okay, you thanks. There's a, there's a 24 hour vet just down the road, if someone can drop it there. There's a 24 hour vet just down the road. If someone can sit here, I'll go. Um, and just to make sure the cat will be okay. Now, what are you most looking forward to 2017? That is the official question on Facebook. I'll come up with uh, a mouse Facebook question randomly for the 72 show. Susan in Cam says new beginnings. Vicky, of course, says the travel that's coming her way. Um, Sarah says her weight loss operation being uh, and being a year healthy, I'll just say that. Um, and also Tiffy says achieving her goals and to make more new friends that are positive people. That's true. Uh, though who fill my life with joy and leaving every single negative thing for good. New life, fresh start, no more being around the BS. Now that could be the comment so far on Facebook. Thank you, Tiffy. Thank you so very much. Isn't that good? Sounds perfect. That's really good. What That's are you looking ideal. the most forward to? For new opportunities. Yeah? New opportunities, yeah. Exciting things, work-wise or just, just in general? A uh, couple of things in particular, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. do you do any manifestation of that kind of thing? What, I what, do. What, 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 what are your tips for that? Uh, just think positive. Again, I always say trust your intuition. Uh, just think positive, you know, put it out there what you want. Really, yeah. really think about what you want. Yeah. A lot of people sort of want a bit of everything. They're, yeah, um, they're but just think about what's the most important to you, you know, if you were to wake up and just do any type of job or um, to be in a particular type of relationship or yeah. workplace, w what you think the most is, is the most thing that you want, just really manifest that, put that out there. Yeah, be a little yeah. bit more specific with, yeah, that, for with, sure. the, with the universe and um, sure. all of our psychics pretty and much say that. And also be grateful for what you have. Yes, yeah. gratitude is the for attitude. Sure. The circle, yeah. and McKenna t t teaches us, this starts with gratitude. Thankfulness, gratitude, and then, of course, you reap uh, the rewards absolutely, for that as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Nice to have you at the desk. Thanks okay, this is Vicky. He's been waiting for you to come back to the desk. Nice to see you again, Vicky. You've been sending in for a very long time. 16th of the 9th, 1975. Can I please have a reading for 2017 from Rhonda? Also is my dog, Braxton. We've had two Braxtons tonight. The other one's a human. Uh, happy. On the other side. Is her dog Braxton happy on the other side? Hi, Vicky. Thanks for this. Um, I misread it. I, saw, I read, is my dog Braxton on the other side? Yes, he is. <laughs> is he happy? <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, absolutely. I can, I can see Braxton still snuggling up to you, whether it's on the couch or in bed. He's, um, it, it feels like you... And, and it's interesting, I actually just caught up a friend and um, I'm picking up on the same type of energy, um, just a, a sort of a bit of a, like a quirky dog. Um, her dog had passed. Um, just a quirky dog that sort of will be a bit silly, but also um, really s like the snuggles and, and would sort of um, sit next to you on the couch, snuggle up to you, snuggle up to you in the bed. Um, it feels like he's leaving messages for you in the, in that you just sort of wake up and feel a, a warm patch. Um, you know, you, you'd wake up and you think, oh, that's, that's sort of weird, I, you know, go pat him and it's, it's, he's, he's actually there in spirit with you. Um, and it, it feels like it's something about your shoes as well, whether um, you didn't let him play, you put your shoes in a certain space um, so that he didn't get to them. It, 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 it feels like there's a cheekiness there, like he can, he can get to them now. <laughs> he can go to them if he wants, he's not going to damage them, but it's um, that, sort of, uh, that sort of cheekiness. Yeah, absolutely happy. Um, it feels like he's um, around cats, like he's, he's playing with cats on the other side. And, um, and that also feels, uh, there's a lot of humour with Braxton. Um, 
and I don't know what the thing was with cats um, in his time with you. I, it feels like he didn't like cats, but on the other side, he's saying there's cats there and it's, it's fine, he's letting them be. She, and quickly, she also wanted to know if you can just uh, quickly a couple of points about 2017. Yeah, 2017. So yeah, absolutely. Um, it feels like um, you've you've got um, a couple of close friendships. It feels like um, close female friendships. Um, the sort of um, one in particular um, you've been planning on travelling with. You've you've done travel with in the past and you're sort of planning on travelling. I can see you having um, a girls weekend but I can actually see four of you there so someone that you don't know but but with those two as well I can see you having a, a girls weekend having fun. I can see that sort of happening sort of mid-year but it feels like it's like a, almost like a year's worth of planning in, in the half year to, to do that. Um, um, it feels like you've, you're quite, um, you can be very serious as well and you can be very direct. You've, you've got a bit of a, a masculine edge Vicky in that um, the way you talk to people at work and the way you talk to your neighbours you can be very direct. Um, but you're actually a nice, warm and generous person, it's just some people don't see that side of you. So um, my feeling is for you just to smile more as in you set the tone and see how people treat you. Like, you, you know, just um, let, let people, let your guard down a bit and let people see you for who you are. And, and that's, that in terms of, you know, 2017, you can play little social, because you're quite intelligent as well, but you can play little social experiments you with that. yourself. And thanks, Rhonda. Yeah. Thanks for that, Vicky. Thank you so very much. Now, we actually need your voicemails. We've run out completely right now. Um, we've got two that have been put aside for Charlene, but um, other than that, we have nothing. So you've, you've kept them coming so far yeah. during the show, and this show's gone so very fast. We've got one yeah, more hour of Expo. We could do so many voicemails in that time. Do uh, call us and leave voicemail option number nine. Okay, Renee has sent a text for you. 14th of the 3rd, 1984. She says, Rhonda, please, will I have a relationship with Shane? Hi, Renee. Thanks for your, t thanks for your text. Um, with Shane, it actually feels more like a friendship. It feels more like a um, like a, a non-intimate sort of friendship with Shane. It doesn't um, it doesn't feel like um, the sort of romance as such. It feels like there's more sort of mateship. Um, it feels like both of you have considered it, um, but you've considered it at different times. It's like you've got different timing with things. Um, as in, you've been in one location, he's been in another location, you've been busy at work, he's been busy at work. Um, but it feels like you've got a good sort of mateship. I can I can see the possibility of sort of a more intimate relationship, but I don't, I see that, um, I, I, to be honest, I can see someone, I can see you having um, a, a choice, a, a um, yeah, having an, a choice other than Shane, um, you know, for him to get his act together kind of thing. Um, it, it feels like you've got you've both got um, similar natures in that you could be playful together and you could be good together, um, but it feels like he's a bit of a um, procrastinator. He doesn't. Um, he he's quite methodical in the way he does some things, but in terms of the relationship side of things, he's a bit of a procrastinator. So um, so it's a possibility, but I think it's sort of um, it almost feels like someone else is going to come in the picture to sort of give him a kick up the backside and, and, and really think about whether he wants to pursue that. Yeah, so thanks for that. Yeah, thank you, Renee, and thank you for asking for uh, Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda is not very, not here as often as the other uh, psychics. Of course, she's got very busy <laughs> in her other job as well. Yeah. And you have a wonderful partner that you'd yeah, like to have a weekend absolutely. with. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sorry, my darling. At home, so we've got two available, yeah? Miriam and Wendy. Where, where, what did I say? I think I said that around the right. Did I say Mendy and Wendy? No, no, no. You said it right. I don't you know. You just said the second one and the first did one. Did I? Okay. No, right it's, it's fine. Uh, thank you for picking <laughs> up on that. I don't know sometimes what comes out of my mouth. Uh, they are available right now. Miriam, what does she do? She's, she's, she's often there, Miriam. She's a stayer. Uh, Miriam is a clairvoyant psychic medium. She does astrology. Not many of them do that. And she's a spiritual advisor as well. So we are live, we're interactive. This is the final show of 2016. We've got one more hour in Expo and then we go into our 7-2 show at exactly 1.08 Eastern Daylight Saving Time as well. Uh, another picture for you. We could do with more picture messages. Guys, we'll pop up the number after this reading. We definitely need more. This is Michelle. Thank you for sending this picture. Look at this. It's so cute. Oh, I love your pets. 
What's with all the animals tonight? You guys are melting me. 26th of the 12th, 1967. You guys melt my heart with these pictures. Hello, yeah, I would like to know, isn't it gorgeous? It looks like, it looks like the dog's taking the yeah, selfie. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the dog's got the... <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know if my loved ones that have passed uh, over are at peace. What, uh, what does 2017 hold for me? She's lying in bed with the doggy yeah. and the dog's, the dog's taking the photo. Yeah, that's really cute. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for connecting and happy birthday for last week. Um, mine was just before that and yours yeah, was happy just birthday after you that, well, so yeah. from Sages to another Sag. Um, absolutely, I feel that your loved ones are at peace and I, you know, I've struggled with that myself and, you know, not being able to hug them anymore and um, it's, you know, 100% they're, they're, they're in a better place and they're, they're at peace. Um, with, in terms of who I'm picking up, I'm picking up a, a father figure with you um, and I'm also picking up an auntie. Um, the auntie's on your mum's side and the, the father figure's obviously, the, um, it, it feels like a very protective energy. Um, it doesn't, I'm not, I'm not picking up on father, I'm just picking up on um, just that protective, that, that, um, that sort of loving energy. So whether there was um, a bit of a, um, a distance in that relationship, um, but it's still that, that love there. So that's what I'm picking up on. Um, the, the auntie I'm feeling, it feels like a, a mother, very motherly. Um, so it's, um, and she's, she's quite a bubbly personality. You've got, um, you've got, you know, she was the type of person that would tell you a lot of funny stories and um, just do sort of what you thought sil were silly things, but um, you, you love that, that connection with, with her. Um, the father figure is more more serious, um, but you know you when you cross over the other side, it's you don't you, you don't worry about things that we worry about here. So it's it's not um, and you know there's there's no animosity there at all. There's no um, you know you, there's there's a lot of love for you. There's a lot of um, it feels like there's there's people um, and uh, there's people beyond that as well, like you know grandparents generation. It, it feels like there's a lot of people out there looking out for you and, and actually, you know, very protective. Um, and you, I mean, beautiful dog here, but you've also got, you also have um, a healing energy yourself. You have animals come up to you, you know, you'll have, um, there'll be a, a cat or a dog walk and they'll just, they'll just, you know, there'll be 50 people and they'll come up to you kind of thing. Um, Beautiful. And what does 2017 hold for you? Feels like it, the main thing I'm picking up is your finances. It feels like it's um, better for you financially. It's, it's like you've had lots of little stepping stones, and now you're able to take slightly bigger steps, and you're slightly um, it's sort of more stable. But also, you've got a few more choices available to you, and that sort of thing. Um, it, it feels like you're you're going to be happy as well. It's just you know you you're a happy-go-lucky person anyway. But it feels like positive things. So yeah. thanks, Michelle. I love the way, just because the way that she said the photo and the dog's in it, you yeah. kept moving it around. Yeah. <laughs> and I just thought it was very cute. Like you're, you're reading into the dog <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, that's a beautiful reading. Thank you. And thank you to Michelle. Okay, and now the picture message number. Can we need more of them, believe it or not? Yes, we do. Send them through now to 0437 646 958. But the all important information we need, apart from your picture, is your name. Your first name, your date of birth, and the question you'd like to ask us, and if there's a particular psychic you'd like to ask as well. Now, if Anna has sent a text message in, we appreciate that, Anna, and Happy New Year to you. 28th of the 3rd, 1990. I love your show. I'd like to know about what my next move is in terms of my career and anything else happening or coming up in 2017. Hi, Anna. Thanks for that. Uh, it feels like you're going to have quite a lot of opportunities coming your way. Um, there's there's a little bit more work to do. You've, you're sort of you've been working and studying for some time now. Um, there's also a bit of um, volunteer work. It feels like you're getting you're sort of completing your skill set by doing a bit of volunteer work. It feels like that's something um, that you've either been thinking of or you've you've sort of done recently. But that's that's certainly a good idea of. Um, you know, improving your skills and also networking as well. Because it feels like opportunities are gonna come your way, not through, you know, the standard job job search, but through actually people, you know, people you've been working with and sort of those network, those connections you make. And that can be through paid or voluntary work. Um, I can also see the possibility of travel with work, with, um, a, um, 
with sort of moving for a position, but also um, being like a rep, sort of going to work, you know, spending a week here, spending a week there. Um, it, fe it feels like you're quite a um, sociable person. You, um, you're quite um, personable. So you, you, when people meet you, you'd put them at ease, you'd gain their trust and rapport, and then you'd be able to sell or you'd be able to educate. Um, it feels like you carry many hats as well. You can do, there are different things you can do and you've not quite found your niche yet, what exactly you want to do. Um, I can also see travel, uh, um, sorry, I was talking about the travel. I can also see um, study associated with, with, with your work. Um, it, it feels like though you're a bit, at the moment you're looking a bit, um, um, you're looking at it a bit one one viewed, well, if that's the right way of saying it, um, one just track. one tract, yeah, just, um, I'm being told just to listen, um, just, you know, just to listen for new opportunities because, um, you know, you, you've still got, I mean, you're going to be working for a lot, you know, for a lot more years to come, so uh, don't be afraid to try different things now, don't feel like you have to be too settled now, you can actually try different things, you know, I could see you teaching, I could see you in sales, I could see you, you know, just um, just being able to coordinate sort of people. So you've got different skill sets. Just be afraid, don't be afraid to try different things now while you're young. Just just give it a go yeah. and see where it takes you. Absolutely give it a go. It's totally different Thanks, now. Anna. Back in our day. Yeah. Uh, back in oh, <laughs> my day. <laughs> oh, we're the same year, I think. Same. Oh, we're the same yeah, year. I think we're about a year, about yeah, a week. So yeah. Oh well. Wow. But you know, back in the day when and in my parents' era, yeah, my dad yeah. worked in the same place right up until he was oh, sixty-five. Yeah. That doesn't happen anymore. No, no. It doesn't happen. And so I think it's also try things out when you can. And it's also attractive to um, change jobs, as in learn what you can from one job and, yeah, and further yeah. your skill set. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm a fan of doing a little bit of both. You know, yeah. not, not being so oh, for sure. as, as much as you know being in job for five minutes like a lot of millennials. We love you. Yeah. Um, but you're yeah, doing more like yeah. what you say. Now, this is Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Aren't you an angel? Look yeah. at your blue eyes. Wow. 21st of the 10th, 1975. Hi, ladies. My children and I have had an extremely tough and emotional year and still struggling. Can you please mm. give me some guidance on what is still to come? Happy New Year mm. to you and your families. Let's find out for you, Nicole, and Happy New Year to you as well. Thanks, Nicole. Happy New Year. Thanks for connecting. Um, I, yeah, I feel quite emotional um, connecting with your energy um, it, it really feels like you've been on a roller coaster um, um, th there's some things I'm picking up on that I'm not going to say at the desk um, so I'm happy to connect with you back in the booth um, I it feels like you're a lot safer now it feels like um, there's that um, you've, you've got you've, you've you've made a lot of steps to put yourself in this position you've also um, had to be careful about who you've trusted along the way um, and still it still feels like you've still got to have your wits about you you've still got to be careful um, you know but you've what you've done so far has that is an absolute credit to you and uh, what you've done for your children is is fantastic um, it, it, it does feel like things are stabilizing um, it, it feels like you've really got to um, just just be just still be careful and still um, you know just uh, just really have um, close a close family unit of who you trust and and um, you know who you know who knows where you're living and that sort of thing um, it, it just um, it, it feels like you or are also um, you're you're also very giving a very caring very gentle person but people can drain you people can you know you'd be you would have been the type of school friend that someone would call and tell all your problems to they hang up the phone they'd feel better but you feel worse that sort of thing so so over time you've, you're learning to you're learning to be better about that um, just and, and also just remember to um, have time to you know play with your kids and have fun with your kids it's not um, you can still have some normality and you can still um, you can still have fun you know and, and you know things will get better over time it's it's not and I can see you sort of like three to four three four to five years time being in a completely different place than you are now and just being a lot happier and your kids being a lot happier because um, one of your children is quite sensitive as well he's um you know you, you're probably um 
quite concerned about him, but he's, he, you know, he'll be, you, you'll see him just flourish and really bloom in the next few years. So I wish you all the best, Nicole. Thanks for your, yeah, thanks for your message. Yeah, Happy New Year once again, reiterating that uh, yeah. for you, Nicole, and, and blessings to you. Lovely to connect yeah. with you. Absolutely. We're doing one more reading with this. We, sure. This is your last session in this show, and of okay. course, yeah. uh, great job. <laughs> I love having you here. Thank you. Well, let's do a text message for Rhonda. Here it comes. I'll read it out for you. And Debbie. Hello, Debbie. 18th of the 2nd, 1965. Simply wants to know, what does 2017 hold? Hi, Debbie. Thanks for your text. I'm... I'm picking up with you, um, out with the old, in with the new, <laughs> um, and that I'm, uh, it's not in any particular area of your life, I'm seeing it as in, you know, decluttering, um, I'm seeing the possibility of a move, like a, a better financial, uh, moving to a, a place that is a more financially viable option for you, um, I'm just, I'm just seeing, um, you know, things sort of being more organised, like the finance side, with the, the money sort of situation just, um, you know, you've spent time thinking about things and it's it feels like that's sort of more settled and more doesn't require your attention as much. Um, it feels like you've got sort of a, a, a possibility of a move and then that's the, that would be, you know, that would be a good thing. I can see that sort of August, September this year. Um, and I can see that being, um, being just... A, a nice sort of, it, it's almost like you're sort of clearing things out now and in terms of your your belongings and your decluttering and, and that's sort of almost preparing you for that. It feels like you're very intuitive, Debbie, and it's, it's like you can, you, d you don't know that it's coming, but you can kind of feel that it's coming and that's why it's it's changing. I can just see boxes, like, um, you know, moving, like plastic boxes, like plas those plastic crates, you know, you've, you've got things there and you're moving things and you're working out what you want and what you don't want. Um, I can see that sort of thing and it sort of feels like it's happening for a reason and it's just um, just sorting out, just getting getting rid of the old. Um, and that's also relationship-wise as well as in your... Um, and also, you know, in terms of your friendships, it feels like um, you've been sort of later half of this year, you've been um, breaking ties with certain people that don't serve you any good um, and that's going to continue again next year. And it's, it feels very positive. It feels like you're finally listening to your intuition and and things are, are better for you this year, Debbie. Nice Thanks to do that reading for you, Debbie. Thank you for connecting with us. Um, we've got two Debbies in a row. So the first reading for Charlene is a different Debbie as well. Mm, I suppose it's not really a, an out there name, no, is it? No, no. Um, <laughs> thank you all for connecting with us. Thank you, Rhonda, for That's connecting okay, with us. You, you stick around, of course. You're sure, going to booth number one. Okay, great. And I'll yep. catch you in the next show. Thank yep. you. Thanks. That is, thank you, darling. That is lovely, Rhonda. She's pretty amazing. Uh, great reader. Lovely, lovely girl as well. Uh, she's a really nice, beautiful, gentle, loving energy to have here in the studio. Thank you so so much for all of our expo viewers that may be leaving us and thank you so much for all of you for those that are leaving us um, I was gonna say Merry Christmas too late for that happy new year to all of you hopefully we'll see you on the other side in 7-2 if not hugs bye <laughs>